If you have high blood pressure, you are probably taking one or more medications to lower it. But when is the best time to take your blood pressure pills? Should you be taking them in the morning or at night? Some research suggests that taking your blood pressure medication at bedtime may help you get better blood pressure control at nighttime without sacrificing your daytime blood pressure control and lower your overall risk of death due to heart problems by a whopping 45%. Should you therefore be taking your blood pressure medications at night for the best results? Well, the answer to that is not so simple. Different types of blood pressure medications work in different ways and they may have different effects on your blood pressure throughout the day and night. Hi, my name is Kweku and I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'll review how blood pressure changes over 24 hours and what the latest research says about the best time to take your blood pressure medication. Now, let's start with how blood pressure changes over 24 hours. Blood pressure, in case you didn't already know, is not constant. For people who do not have high blood pressure, it rises and falls in a fairly predictable pattern. It surges when you wake up in the morning and increases throughout the day, reaching its peak somewhere around late afternoon or early evening. At night during sleep, it tends to drop again. However, this pattern is not always the same for people with high blood pressure. In fact, there are four distinct patterns of nighttime blood pressure shifts that occur for people with high blood pressure. The first one is a normal drop or dip in the blood pressure of about 10 to 20%. This is called normal dipping. Then we have extreme dipping, which is a drop of more than 20%. And then for some people, there is no dipping at all, which is loosely defined as a drop of less than 10%. The fourth category is reverse dipping, which is an increase in blood pressure at night. So instead of those people, their blood pressure is dipping at night, it rather is elevated during nighttime. Now, these patterns may have different implications for different people in your health. For example, some studies have found that extreme dippers and reverse dippers have a higher risk of cardiovascular events than normal dippers or no dippers or the people who do not dip at all. The best time to take your blood pressure medication depends on several factors. Number one is the type and duration of action of your medication. Number two is your personal preference and lifestyle. You know, the kind of work you do. Are you a truck driver? Are you a police officer? You know, things of that sort have to be taken into consideration before you determine or decide on when to take your blood pressure medication. Then number three is that your blood pressure pattern and your circadian rhythm, which I'm going to explain in a bit, and then also your risk for cardiovascular events. Now, the typical advice for when to take your blood pressure medication used to be that you have to take it in the morning. However, there is growing evidence that most blood pressure medications are more effective when people take them at night. This is largely due to a concept called chronotherapy. And, and let me explain chronotherapy. So chronotherapy is an approach to the timing of medical treatment that is based on the circadian rhythm. That is the body's natural cycle of physical changes that take place every 24 hours. One of the largest studies of chronotherapy for high blood pressure was published in 2019 by researchers from Spain. They randomly assigned more than 19,000 people with high blood pressure to take their medication either in the morning or at bedtime. They followed them for an average of six years and measured their ambulatory blood pressure, which is the blood pressure measured uh, throughout the day and night. And then they also measured their incidence of cardiovascular events. Now, the results from that study were very striking. The bedtime group has significantly lower blood pressure at night, better blood pressure control, and a 45% lower risk of cardiovascular events than the morning group. Now, the cardiovascular events included, you know, heart attacks, stroke, heart failure, angina, or death from any cardiovascular cause. The researchers that concluded that taking blood pressure medication at bedtime is a simple and cost-effective intervention that can improve blood pressure control and reduce cardiovascular risk. However, not all the experts agree with this conclusion. Some have pointed out that the study had some limitations and flaws, and, and I'll explain a few of them here. So number one, the participants were mostly white and of European descent, so the results may not necessarily apply to other populations. That is one of the arguments that the critics made of that study. The second one was that the participants had well-controlled blood pressure at baseline, so the results may not apply to people who have poorly controlled or what we call resistant hypertension. 
The study also relied on self-reported medication adherence, so it kind of calls into question the accuracy of the results. The study also did not account for other factors that may influence blood pressure and cardiovascular risk, such as diet, exercise, stress, and sleep quality. So they were following these people in that areas of their life to determine whether those things had an impact on the results or not. So what critics of this study saying is that there need to be more studies to actually conclude that it was the, all the good things that happened were actually due to the people taking the medication at night and not some other external factors influencing the results. But in the meantime, coming back to the best time to take your blood pressure medication, I'm going to go through a couple of general guidelines and I call them general guidelines because I highly recommend that you discuss this with your doctor before you make any changes. The first guideline is that if you are taking diuretics or what we normally call water pills, it is best to take them in the morning because they increase how often you, you urinate or go to the bathroom and you don't want to be getting up multiple times during the night, you know, to just use the bathroom. Now, typical examples of diuretics or water pills are furosemide or Lasix or hydrochlorothiazide as HCTZ as we normally call it. Also, if you are taking medications that last 24 hours or longer, such as beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, ACE inhibitors, you know, things of that sort, it may be reasonable to take them at night because they can help lower your blood pressure during sleep and avoid side effects from low blood pressure during the day. Now, for the people with specific blood pressure patterns, such as extreme dipping or reverse dipping, you may need to adjust your medication timing accordingly. For example, if you are a reverse dipper, and remember, I explained reverse dippers as people whose blood pressure is rather elevated at night instead of dipping like for most people. You may benefit from taking your medication at night to prevent a rise in blood pressure during sleep. If you are an extreme dipper, you may need to take your medication in the morning to prevent a drop in blood pressure during sleep that could obviously impair your brain function. The most important thing though is to take your blood pressure medication consistently at the same time, as much as possible every time without skipping doses and obviously consulting with your doctor before making any changes. I sincerely hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Stay blessed.